Dear civil engineers, in this video, we are going to learn construction procedure of a residential building with pictures. Kindly subscribe Civil Engineering Shilu's updates. Let us start. Construction process involves two steps. Pre-construction process during building construction steps. First, let us see pre-construction steps. Step 1. Select your desirable place for your dream house. Special consideration should be given to climate in terms of building in flood, hurricane and also intense heat. Building in flood, flood area should be found out. Hurricane which means violent storm. Heat area should be neglected. Special consideration should be given to ground stability. Ground stability means in terms of unstable land, unstable earth and murky soil. Buildings should not be construction in this unstable land, unstable earth and also murky soil. Availability of utilities. You have to see the availability of electric power, internet and also water. Step 2. Select the best property. Selecting the best property is very expensive process equal to construction of a building. It requires major investment. Step 3. Land Survey Land survey prior to any construction work is needed to determine elevation, reduce level and also types of soil. Step 4. Design your dream house by approaching a builder or engineer. You have to say your ideas about your dream house to the builder or engineer so that they would create a plan according to that. Next we can see building construction steps. Step 1. Preparing site for construction. It involves soil test. Let's see what are all the tests on soil. Tests on soil are moisture content test, Atterberg limits test, specific gravity test, dry density of soil, compaction test that is proctors test. Next, site clearing. You can see those pictures, how they are clearing the site. It involves removal of trees, demolition buildings and also other obstacles. C. Site investigation geotechnical report. Second picture says borehole sampling for geotechnical report. Geotechnical report describes soil property. It is produced based on series of tests on soil. In this report, information about Foundation appropriate for the site, settlements, liquefaction possibilities, slope stability, groundwater level, soil bearing capacity, excavation related hazards, soil strength, soil classification. Grading of construction site. Grading is very crucial to force water away from the structure. As per IBC 2009, grade slope should be at least 1 unit vertical to 20 units horizontal. Note, if the construction site is not flat, then suitable cutting and filling need to be carried out. Final setting of soil should be considered while grading is carried out. Compaction of construction site. As per IBC code, soil beneath foundation must be compacted 90% of maximum dry density. Types of loads employed. Stamping, rolling, vibration. Compaction of soil improves shear strength, soil permeability and also compressibility. Step 2. Mark the plot. Mark 
foundation of the columns or walls according to drawing on the ground with the help of your plan. Mark foundation trenches on the ground with chalk powder. Step 3. Excavation Once the marking has been done, the excavation can be started using bulldozer machine. The excavation depth depends on the soil condition. Digging is done till hard soil is reached. Excavation depends on the construction method that is load bearing wall system or column beam frame structure system. Before laying foundation, make sure that the excavated areas have been given anti-termite treatment. Step 4. Foundation PCC Plain Cement Concrete why PCC is done? It is done to form a level surface, to avoid laying concrete on soil directly, to avoid mixing with soil, to prevent soil extracting water from PCC. Placing reinforcement. Cut the steel reinforcement as required sizes and provide L band as shown in your structural drawing. Make the reinforcement net for the footing separately and place in footing position. In footing placing main reinforcement doesn't follow short direction rule. It is related to the position of column on the footing. Providing cover block. It is very important to maintain concrete clear cover. Provide footing cover of about 50 mm in bottom and sides of the footing to keep reinforcement net in position. Pouring concrete. Check whether the footing and column are properly placed. Generally, OPC 53 grade cement is suitable for all RCC structures for footing, column, beams and slabs. If everything is perfect, then move to pour concrete. You can use ready mix concrete or machine mix concrete. After pouring concrete, After curing, remove the former of footing, construct neck column. If any small honeycomb appears on footing surface, repair properly. Before backfilling, construct your neck column. Construct neck column. In buildings, normally floor height is 10 feet, that is 3.048 meters. If the slab has beams, then we have to pour concrete up to beam bottom level. Casting column is easy. For small quantity of concrete volume, we use mission mix concrete. For large quantity, we use ready mix concrete. Back filling. Back filling is the process of putting the soil back into a trench or foundation after the completion of excavation and its related work. The loose soil is compacted using jumping jack type compactor. Soil should be compacted minimum percentage of maximum dry density. Step 5. Ground Beam Ground beam is constructed at ground level. It connects all columns at ground level. It supports the wall or joist if soil subscribe, if soil subgrade have poor bearing capacity. It is reinforced cement concrete beam. It is provided to prevent settlement of wall. Step 6. Masonry work below plinth level. Masonry work below plinth level is required so that the basement filling can be done. If masonry work is not done, soil filled in basement will get eroded. To avoid this erosion, masonry work is done below plinth beam. Masonry work can be brick masonry or random rubble masonry. Note Height The height of masonry wall below plinth beam depends on level difference between road access and ground level of house building. Normally from low road level, 0.45 meter to 1 meter has to be provided based on requirement. Step 7. Plinth beam The beam which is constructed at plinth level is known as plinth beam. In 
frame structure building, the plinth beam ties all the column of the structure to reduce the slenderness ratio of the columns. Reinforcement is used according to the structure design, but minimum 2 main bars at top and bottom of 10 mm diameter bars are used. Height can be varied according to the structural requirements, however, its breadth should be equal to the breadth of the wall. Sometimes it can also be slightly thicker than the wall thickness. Step 8. Back filling. The entire space shall be filled back with soil in later not exceeding 250 mm in thickness. It shall be watered and well compacted by using rammers to achieve maximum consolidation. It should be carried out in layer and each layer shall be thoroughly compacted. Inadequate compaction can cause settlement of backfilling which results in development of cracks in flooring. Step 9. PCC after compaction. PCC with 40 mm aggregate over backfilling. Step 10. Damp proof course. DPC is a layer near bottom of the walls of a house which prevents rising damp. Without DPC, water can rise up from the ground through capillary action and through porous elements in brickwork. The thickness of horizontal DPC for boundary wall is 25 mm. It consists of cement concrete 1 is to 2 is to 4 that is 1 parts of cement, 2 parts of sand, 4 parts of aggregate. It should be cured for 7 days. Then bitumen coating and polythene sheet can be given over it. Now up to plinth level, the work has been completed. Next, superstructure column work is started with column starter. Step 11. Superstructure column. Superstructure is the portion above plinth level of building. The main components of superstructure are columns and beams. The columns are built up to slab level and the frame for further construction is prepared. What must you need to know about column? Column is a vertical structure. It transfers building load to the ground. Column box is a framework which is used to pour concrete which stands into neat column. A column is normally 300 mm thickness and 450 mm width. The column starter box is used to make a protrusion on a flat surface such as plinth beam. Step 12. Masonry work up to sill level. As column and beam framework completed, masonry work is started with different materials such as bricks, flyers bricks, concrete blocks and so on according to building drawing. At first, brickwork is done up to sill level. In addition to this, door frames are also installed. Sill slab Why sill slab is provided? Why sill slab is provided in window opening at the corner of the window a point load acts vertically. In window opening at the corner of the window a point load acts vertically in the brickwork. There is a chance of forming cracks at 45 degree angle as you see in this picture. This sill slab prevents the cracks. Step 13. Masonry work up to lintel level. The first picture shows lintel level. Lintel slab is provided here. We can see the arrow mark also. The first picture shows lintel beam over door opening. The second picture shows lintel beam over window opening. Either throw lintel or cut lintel can be provided, but cut lintel is economical. Things you must know about masonry work, that is brick work. Masonry work is carried out with cement mortar. Cement mortar is a mixture of cement and sand. Ratio of cement mortar varies from 1 is to 4 to 1 is to 6. Here 1 is to 6 means 1 part of cement and 6 parts of sands. Step 14. Masonry work after lintel beam. Rice brick work up to roof beam bottom level. 
without touching roof concrete is a good practice. Maintain minimum 2 mm gap. Step 15. Roof concrete. Roof concrete work or concrete floor slab involves the following process. First one, assemble and erect form work. Second process, prepare and place reinforcement. In this picture, you can see the wires used to the reinforcement and also supporters. They are used to maintain concrete cover. Third process, provision of concrete cover for reinforcement bars in slab. Fourth process is concrete pouring started from one end of the slab. Fifth process, concrete pouring using pumps. Next process is placing and vibrating fresh concrete. Seventh process, curing roof concrete slab by ponding. And the last step is remove form work. Step 16, parapet wall. Parapet wall is a protection wall in order to prevent us falling from terrace to ground. Size of parapet wall. Thickness of parapet wall must be minimum 230 mm, that is full brick parapet wall. Half brick parapet wall should not be considered. Height of parapet wall must be minimum 1 meter. Step 17. Electrical and plumbing. As we know that buildings are constructed with a clean finish in which electrical and plumbing work is not visible. They are installed in the walls and slabs such that they are concealed and not visible after the finishing work is done. The point and pipe end left out such that later they can be finished with the electric fitting and plumbing fixtures. Step 18. Exterior Finishing Once the work is completed, external plastering and finishing can be started. Plastering Formwork is removed after 14 days of slab pouring. Plastering work can be started. Motor for plaster work is generally 1 is to 6 is used. Thickness of plaster layer should not be more than 20 mm. Cure the plaster surface for about 7 days so the plaster gains more strength. Step 19. Terrace and roof finishing. On top of the slab, waterproofing is done to prevent any leakage in the slab. The best way to waterproof your flat surface is to use a waterproofing membrane. Step 20. Internal finishing. Internal walls are plastered with smooth finish and flooring is done with tiles. Step 21. Woodwork and fixture fittings. Now almost construction work has been completed. Furniture work is started. Side by side, electrical fitting, switchboard and plumping fittings are completed in the bathrooms and kitchen areas too. The last step of building construction is interior decoration work in completing the building construction with proper furnishing and fabric used. I hope this presentation helps you. If you like this video, kindly do subscribe, click bell icon. Share this video presentation and do support my channel Civil Engineering Shilohs Updates.